I swear to God that every time I look at a feminist video, they tend to use the exact same argument over and over again. Some of them, you know, some videos on YouTube that's trying to make feminism look good, you know, it's just no different. It's absolutely no different from every other feminist video out there. I'll give credit to some of these feminists. You know, they come up with some even more crazy ideas than others. I mean, there was one feminist that made me smack myself with the Holy Bible. But other than that, it's feminism as a whole just fails. Trying to make feminism look good, it's, you know, it's, you just might as well just sign your own death warrant. Because no one is going to be fooled by this amount of stupidity. No one. I might as well be a broken record player if I'm going to keep making video responses to every feminist who've made the exact same video and uh, who make the exact same argument. I mean, I heard it all before. So, rather than responding to every feminist that made the exact same video, every time a feminist tries to defend feminism using those same arguments, instead of making a video response, I will send this video, the one that you're watching right now, towards, these, towards that feminist, and that feminist will most likely watch, and who knows? Maybe I might receive a video response. <laughs> Let's see them try to prove me wrong. I want to see them try. I really do. You see, the main reason why feminism fails at a massive grand scale, aside from the fact that they use the exact same common argument that I hear every freaking time, the reason that it fails because they're miscon... They're con their idea or conception of what is equality differs from each and single individual. I will explain right now. We have two different groups of feminists. You know, there's multiple groups, but let's just say, let's say those two groups of feminists. Each individual feminist have their own idea on how to achieve equality or what it exactly is equal. Now, granted that they share a few common things, such as they, they agree that the, the wage gap argument is the most legitimate argument to use against anti-feminists, but their idea on what exactly is equality or how to achieve equality completely differs from each and single individual. It's sort of like Christianity. You know, each group of Christians have their own idea on how to, how to get uh, to heaven or how to achieve enlightenment. Um, some people believe that you only need to follow parts of the Bible. Uh, some people believe that you need to follow all parts of the Bible, uh, both Old and New Testament. And some people believe that you don't have to follow the Bible at all. Just as long as you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and, you know, you don't do any sin from the Ten Commandments, then you'll be fine. It's just like Christianity. And I understand the misconceptions of feminism. I know that not every feminist is a radical, bra-burning lunatic. I know that not every feminist um, loves to shave their head, their armpits, you know, be lesbian, or whatever the fuck. I'm also aware that not every feminist hates men, but I'm pretty much convinced that every feminist in the goddamn world see themselves as some sort of perfect being and men should bow down to them. I know that you don't act that way. You know, you, you don't believe that you act that way, but believe me when I say this, you do. You really, really do. That you have some sort of privilege. I'm telling you the truth. But that doesn't mean I should just turn a blind eye and say, oh, well, seeing that feminism is all about equality, then I guess I can't oppose it. And, you know, seeing that I am for equality, I must be a feminist. <laughs> no, it just doesn't work like that. I will never, 
Never, never, never be a feminist. I am more closer to being a Christian than I will ever be to being a feminist. In reality, there's no such thing as a true feminist. Same thing with, you know, religion. Um, you know, such as Christianity and, 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 and Buddhism, Hinduism, Catholicism. There is no true religion or a true Christian. And if there was any such thing as a true Christian, uh, the closest thing being possible being to a true Christian, in my own personal opinion, and I know that some of you people are going to be extremely shocked when I say this, but I believe that the WBC, also known as the Westboro Baptist Church, are the true Christians. Now go ahead, tell me that I'm a total bigot. Go straight on ahead, tell me that. But let me explain to you why. Why I think that they're the true Christians, or at least the closest thing to being a true Christian. It's because they follow everything in the Bible. The Bible is full of hatred, therefore they're full of hatred. The Bible, uh, you know, tells people that homosexuality is bad. So these people follow, you know, those ideas. I give them credit for following everything in the Bible, if not most of it. That much I give them credit for. The same thing with feminism, only except there is no holy Bible of feminism, and instead each of it, each individual have their own personal beliefs on what exactly is equality and how to achieve equality. So in reality, there is no such thing as a true feminist. So at the end of the day, why should I take your word for it that fem that what you're doing is right. That your feminism is the true feminism and not their feminism. When those radical feminists will tell me the exact same thing and tell you that you're not a true feminist. That's the thing. How the fuck should I know? So it's better off not being a feminist. Instead, you're better off being a member of the MRA or even better, a humanist. Because, you know, humanists don't get as much heat as... Uh, as as, as, a, as a feminist. I don't even know if there's even multiple groups of humanists. I mean, maybe there is, but I'm pretty darn sure that humanists aren't exactly the most hated group in America. Because at least with humanism, they don't go protesting against the MRA. They, you know, like to point out bullshit like I do. They like to find what is, you know, what areas are, you know, completely unequal you know they don't see the way I don't think they even see the wage gap argument as a, as a problem you know it, they like to point out feminist bullshit just like the ones that you're doing right now I I am a humanist and I will always be a humanist I believe in equality Feminism may be, just because feminism, you know, means equality, does not mean that equality means feminism. It's just like saying that because you believe in God, you must be a Christian. Or because you don't believe in God, you must be a Satanist. That's the exact same logic that feminists love to use. So here's my suggestion to you. Renounce your feminism. Be a humanist. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.